Well, John Murray had his moments in that last round, moments of success. They've been telling him to try and bring his shots up, bring his uppercuts up. There was a decent-looking straight right over the top. But were there enough to win the round? Al Hamidi also had plenty of success. Close round, close fight. A lot more urgency now about Murray. The needs to be, Duke. You know, if you were in that corner, you'd have to say to him, look, you could still be losing this fight. Well, sure, you'd read the right act to him. You know, a good slap would probably just do to wake him up. Need the sort of shot that Ronnie Davis used to give to Chris Eubank. That'd wake him up. That would probably knock him out. He's giving away too much weight. Down the side. better from Murray, stepped inside and delivered a good-looking left hook. Atmosphere building all the time. See, Al Hamidi knows all the tricks. You know, knows how to grab and hold and how to spoil. Go in with the shoulder, look. He's cute, isn't he? Very. Well-schooled. Very, very, very good at what he does. But, you know, it's up to Murray to fathom it out. It's up to Murray to be able to adapt. You see, after each of Al Hamidi's attacks, you know the shoulder's coming in. So once he's attacked you, you know, a split second time and you step back and just start bringing the punches up he should walk on to it there's blood around the forehead now of murray whether that's a clash of heads or whether it's a cut it could be that there's a cut there try and get a look at that between rounds i think it's on his head i think it's on the side of his head or his ear possibly there's a lot of blood there john Dear, that does not look very good at all, and the ref, uh, maybe the doctor's going to have to have a look at that between rounds. It looks as though it's the right ear, and it does not look good at all. These all oh, good right hand from Al Hamidi. Murray walked right into that. Well, if it's his ear, it's going to affect his balance. Well, these are anxious times now for the previously undefeated John Murray, professional for five years. And a man who's been spoken of as somebody destined for great things. He looks a mess in there right now. Dear, dear me, and another big left hand. Well, that's a round for Al Hamidi, it's got to be. Joe Gallagher going across and gesticulating to the referee, suggesting that it was a clash of heads that did it. Not the ear, I don't think. I think it's up there on the head. Now, let's have a look at this. There's the hand. Here comes the head. Now, is that... Oh, well, was it the head that did it? it? Quite I suppose like, it must yeah, have been. Yeah, it must have been, because as, as El Hamidi came down, there was a clash of heads, totally unintentional, but bleeding yeah, quite profusely. But he had a bad round apart from that. Bad round. He walked into a couple of really solid right hands. Absolutely. An El Hamidi round. Five rounds gone on Duke's card. El Hamidi's winning this one. What's an intriguing show opener for you here tonight? at the Trent FM Arena, the Nottingham Arena. Well, Al Hamidi's had the higher work rate. And his confidence is grown by the second, doubling on shots now, doubling up on shots. Doubling up on the jab and fancying that right hand, and now there's a smear of blood underneath the eye of Murray as well. And he's taking a lot of shots in here. Heads going in once more. Is this kid going to score another another remarkable upset? This is an enormous upset if Hamidi wins this one. Right. They're going to 
going to start Chris calling Aston, his trainer will have to take a huge amount of credit for this if he wins this one. Look oh, at this. Dear. Well, listen, you know, there's no excuse for that. Murray's just going back out in a straight line and soaking up the punches. There's no head movement or lateral movement. Sure, he can feel the blood in his face, but he's, he must know it's coming from his head. It's not a cut or his ear. Well, irrespective of how this one scored in the end, and I can only think that the referee must be looking at it in a similar manner to how we do. So far, this has been a bad night for John Murray. Well, it's a terrible night. He can't... Nothing's working at the moment. Nothing's working for Murray. He's pressuring, but he's walking on to punches. He's being bullied around as well. I mean, physically, look at the difference in size between them. Well, Murray, the bigger man, but you wouldn't bet on it or you wouldn't guess it, the way he's being bullied around the ring. It shouldn't be happening, full stop. It just shouldn't be happening. What would you be saying to him between rounds now? Look at the blood almost spurting off the face of Murray there as they got in close. What would you be saying to him between rounds to try and get him back into this? Well, that's a good shot, that's a good right hand, but back comes Hamidi. What to use say? his jab, to you, he's got height and reach advantages, he has to use his jab and then start delivering the uppercuts into the combinations. But what he's doing, he's allowing Aldo Hamidi to outbox him on the inside and to physically manhandle him on the outside. This isn't the same John Murray who fought Dean Hickman. Don't know where the erosion of self-confidence has come. Barry McGuigan reckons that Murray's doing maybe a little bit better than we're suggesting. We'll maybe try and get a word with Barry between rounds, see how he's reading it. Murray's finishing this round strongly. That's better, that's better, working his man back and landing shots and he does so. Finished the round strongly. Well done, brilliant. Well, let's get, let's now find out how Barry McGuigan's seeing it. We've got it very close, Barry. Uh, yeah, it's close, but I still have Murray ahead. I have Murray two rounds up, and uh, uh, he's just won the last one as well, so I'm now having three up. But I do agree he's doing the wrong thing, he's attacking without jabbing. But I just think his pressure and the amount of punches that he's throwing in general, the amount of punches he's landed around the side, he's, he, I, I have him three up. Uh, however, I'm disappointed with his attacking skills. He's walking on the punches, just like Duke said, he's squaring up when he walks in, gets nailed with a lot of right hands. The head's clash, unfortunately, he's got that cut. But he's got to start working on his jab, he's got to close the distance down, and he's got to increase the pace and hit this guy to the body too. Thanks a lot, Barry.